If you turn on any national news channel throughout your day, it's practically guaranteed that they're going to cover a breaking story about an organization suffering a cybersecurity breach. Now that might sound like a bold statement to make, but as it stands today, bad actors hack around 30,000 websites every single day. That's almost triple the amount of breach sites over the course of a year than the average salary of a professional baseball player. In other words, it's no wonder that we hear about global companies and government agencies getting hacked all over the media. With breaching trends like that statistic, there's so much content to cover that even the biggest networks can't even keep up. Ultimately, the malicious groups or individuals who wreak havoc across the net aren't just trying to slow down businesses because they have nothing better to do. The majority attack organizations network infrastructures for financial gain. Over half of all cyber attacks were financially motivated in 2018, yet how can hackers make any money from getting into an organization's system? You most likely know the answer to that question. Bad actors target sensitive information. Whether it's protected health information, PHI, or financial information, a hacker group can scam their way into a fortune if they get their hands on a little morsel of data from either of those categories. As a result, organizations of all sizes have no choice but to pour money into ways to protect their most valuable assets, aka their customers' data. If they don't, they risk hemorrhaging revenue due to loss in trusts and fines from the government. Yet, if you googled anything about how to protect sensitive information your organization works with, it wouldn't take very long before you come across encryption as a recommendation. That's great that it works so well, but how do you use it for your own advantage? More importantly, is there a way to encrypt the emails that you send out yourself? But is activating encryption as easy as typing in the word secure in the subject line of your email? Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics and today I'm going to determine whether or not typing the word secure in the subject line of your emails encrypts them. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The answer to the question around this video is that it could, but it depends. Most individual email accounts don't natively use encryption, yet the majority of popular email providers offer a paid service that encrypts your team's electronic messages. This is the price table from Gmail Enterprise. The top selling point across all tiers is that it provides custom and secure business email. Although generic sounding, further research confirms that Gmail Enterprise provides the ability to encrypt all the emails from your organization via S or MIME encryption. But Google isn't the only organization to offer encrypted emailing capabilities. Microsoft 365 does as well. So now that we know that encryption is often offered as a paid service by email providers, where does typing the word secure come into play? Certain encryption methods are more secure than others. Transport layer security, TLS, is the standard, yet it only secures the message, not any additional information or data that's included or attached in an email. End-to-end -end is a step above TLS message encryption as it encrypts both the message and the data requiring the recipient to decode attached data using a private key. Of course, every organization that handles sensitive information wants to use end-to-end -end encryption. If you have an option to choose the best, you're going to want to use it. But End-to-end -end encryption usually comes at a higher price point than the standard, or TLS. As a result, the organizations that purchase end-to-end -end encryption services from a cybersecurity vendor are usually charged by volume. To ensure that it's not overcharged for using end-to-end -end for every message, most organizations work with their vendors to implement a keyword that triggers a higher level of encryption for a message. Usually, that trigger is providing the word secure in the subject line. So how do you know if your email is secure? The point I tried making in the section before was that typing the word secure in the email might encrypt your message. However, it depends on whether or not your organization has a vendor that provides encryption and if that's the subject line trigger. If you don't have an encryption vendor, typing secure won't provide any additional protection to what you're sending. If you do, typing secure might not be the right word to signify the need for added security. In any case, before you send anything that has the potential to cause a cybersecurity breach, talk to your IT department first. In the meantime, a best practice is to assume that your email communications aren't secure. That way, you and your team understand the line between what they can and cannot send among each other and outside of your organization. If you'd like to learn more about compliant email practices, reach out to eTactics. And you already made this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.